So at this, yeah. when you're doing this, you get the get the talus set up, and all of this is a scoop. So I'm scooping the talus. I'm distracting it. I'm using my hands to get dorsiflexion. I'm close to my chest for mechanics, picking up slack, making sure I'm not just pulling his whole body. And then once I get my dorsiflexion and my eversion, you can see I'm using my body to do it. I'm not using my hands. And then when we give the distraction, we just hold it, see how it feels. How do you feel? Good. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be backing off. I'm going to give a quick thrust just like that. Is that okay? And so then you get used to, you have to get used to the language. So it becomes second nature and not awkward. Would you do it repetitive, like would you do it more than once? Would you do a thrust like in sequence? Uh, if you feel like you, you, people make mistakes, that's very possible. So you can always do it again, sure. Okay, got You it. just retest, nope, messed it up for whatever reason, and then go from that. So once you're locked up and they're comfortable, comfortable and you get back to your barrier, then you can just do your thrust at the end. So you can see it wasn't a big pull. It's quick. Get to the end range. And it's quick thrust. There's not a lot of motions. OK? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. That's just All that. you very flexible people in the room, do not long sit when someone does this to you. If you long sit, you, are, you have plenty of hamstring flexibility to get into a pretty significant dural tension load. So if you happen to have dural sensitivity and someone whacks on your ankle while you're in dural load, you will not be happy you all the way up to your head. So no long sit for you find people. If you dense bodies that can barely sit up, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I take offense. Okay. So, so far, we'll practice those in one second. So we have, because the only new ones that we just showed you is just a quick little pull at the end of something we already did. So you have two grade fives, and now we have the MWM. So for this, okay, let's see if I can do this in these pants that are way undersized.